Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to feature my first vinyl haul of the new year. I guess we can still call it the new year. It's um, my first vinyl haul of 2022. And um, I have some really, what I think are some nice gems in here. Um, one of the ones that I found was one that I've been looking for even before I started this channel. It's um, a really great album to find out in the wild and not have to rely on Discogs or on an online store to uh, find an original copy, but I did. It's still in the shrink, and um, I'm saving that one to the end. But um, the first one I wanted to share with you is the um, record store Black Friday release of the Big Brother in the Holding Company uh, at the Fillmore. Um, this album, I had I saw it on the list when it was um, when they talked about the albums that were going to be featured on the Black Friday sale, but I decided to go uh, to not go to the record stores on that day after Thanksgiving and have to deal with all the craziness um, in the malls. Even though I know a lot of people do a lot of online shopping, but uh, there's still a lot of craziness that goes on in the malls and um, I just didn't want to deal with the crowds and everything so um, this is the inner sleeve I thought that was pretty neat and um, back it out here a bit and on the back a um, little right up here now the record itself is a really trippy purple, purplish, um, marble color, I guess you could say, and, um, I think it's pretty cool, I haven't seen one this color, although I think I may have an album or two that's similar to this color, but, um, it's a good, solid 180 gram album, and I'm looking forward to, uh, giving this a listen to over the weekend um, and again uh, uh, it's a um, nice find I wasn't expecting to see that in the stores staying on the Janis Joplin theme I was able to get a copy of um, I got them old Cosmic Blues the um, album she did with the Cosmic Blues band and uh it's, um, it was a good price. I got it for like 18 bucks, and uh, I hadn't seen this one in the store. Um, I'll show you the album cover a little. It's in decent shape overall, but there's a little ring wear there. But um, the more important part is the record itself. And uh, this is just in excellent condition, I think. And it sounds great, plays great, not too many pops or um, scratches on it or anything like that. So I was really happy to uh, add that to my collection. Um, now this next one is a white whale of mine in terms of record collecting. I once saw this album with the inserts in it and... Um, I had already had a stack of albums in my hand about that thick and I was tempted to pick it up and I saw it and I'm weighing the options of buying it and not buying it and wondering if I'll ever get a full copy, a copy with the full inserts again and um, I have yet to come across one but I did find a UK pressing of love gun and um the paper feels very i don't know it feels waxy or something like that it's very thin not as thick as the other um as the uh u.s uh sleeves cardboard but um nonetheless it's a copy of love gun i am starting to um pick up as many KISS albums as I can in the stores. Um, 
they're one of my favorite bands of all time. And again, it's just got an excellent sound to it. The um, vinyl is in excellent condition. A nice Casablanca label. And um, I will continue to keep looking for a complete album with all the inserts. Um, but this is a very nice copy and um, I'm happy to have it in my collection. Um, staying on the other side of the pond, I found um, a copy of The Soft Parade. I have every Doors studio album and uh, at least two copies of every Doors studio album. And um, I did not have The Soft Parade, but I was able to get a copy of The Soft Parade in a Spanish pressing. Um, obviously, the music on the album is still in English, but if you look on the back, you can see that it is in Spanish for the um, text on the back cover, which I thought was really cool. Unfortunately, my two years of high school Spanish have not stuck with me, and um, I'll have to use Google to translate it, but that's okay. And again, this album is very in very good shape, nice, clean look to it. it sounds great. So now I'm happy to say that I have all of the Doors studio albums in my collection, which brings me to yet another Doors album. And I had been keeping my eye on this one. This is their debut album in a mono pressing. And um, I saw this one in the store for quite a while and no one had picked it up. And um, there's a little record ring there, but that's okay. The album itself is in overall decent shape. And it sounds pretty good, but um, I thought it would be cool to pick up a copy of the Doors debut album in mono. Um, and this brings me to my last album of the first final haul of 2022. And this is one that... Um, is of one of my favorite blues artists, and specifically my one of my favorite British blues artists, and that's the godfather of British blues, and it's none other than John Mayall. I saw this on my way out. I took one final look through the blues section, and when I saw this, I couldn't believe I didn't see it in the first go through but um I'm happy to say that I have an original copy of the Beano album the debut album John Mayall and the Blues Breakers featuring Eric Clapton this is still in the original shrink and um it'll soon be going into one of my Black Fudge uh album covers this sounds fantastic I'm very happy with it, and um, I'm not sure if I will be <clears throat> peeling off this 4.99 sticker here because I don't want to really ruin any of the um, already. You can kind of see how flimsy this is, but um, I'm happy to have that, and. Um, I'll be sharing more records with you that I've picked up through Barnes & Noble. Not anything really big, but I had a gift card that I had to use. And um, that'll probably be the next video. Um, I also have a couple of album reviews that I'll be sharing with you soon. And um, I'll be finalizing my thoughts on those. So thank you very much for watching. And... Um, I hope you're having a great start to your week. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.